This is a video series on Embedded Linux with the Octo project. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about embedded systems. So watch till the end to know how do you add features to your Linux image. Features provide a mechanism for working out which packages should be included in the generated images. Distributions can select which feature they want to support through distro features variable, which is set or appended to inner distributions configuration file, such as pokey.conf, pokeytiny.conf, pokeylsb.conf, and so forth. So machine features are set in the machine features variable, which is set in machine configuration file and specifies the hardware features for a given machine. So there are two features here. One is the distro feature and machine feature. And using the distro feature variable, you add a different features to your uh, distribution. And using, using a machine feature, you configure the machine. So these two variables combine to work out which kernel modules, utilities, and other packages to include. A given distribution can support a selected subset of features. So some feature, some machine features might not be included if the distribution itself does not support them. So one method you can use to determine which recipes are checking in to see if a particular feature is contained or not is to grab through metadata for the feature. Here is an example to discover the recipes whose build is potentially changed based on a given feature. So for example, okay, let me go to my Yocto project. Then CD to okay. So if you let's say if you keep grab to machine features, let's say it contains the document reference manual feature RST. So it contains this, but what we're interested in this the Linux Yocto kernel INC. So here you can see that it contains machine with uh, a new MA. So we will see what this a new MA is for. Well, that's how you see uh, the machine configuration or the, what are the features that are configured for your Yocto image. Well, so let's, so what is, what is important is in your distribution for a given machine, you can have different features enabled or disabled based on these variables. So let's look at them in a little bit more detail. So machine features. Machine features is controlled by M-A-C-H-I-N-E underscore F-E-A-T-U-R-A-S variable. So this controls the machine features. The features do not have a one-to-one -one correspondence to packages, and they can go beyond simply controlling the installation of a package or packages. Sometimes a feature can influence how a certain recipes are built. For example, a feature might determine whether a particular configuration option is specified within the toConfigure task for a particular recipe. So here, what is important to understand is, for your machine, what are the features that are available for your hardware? So it's all hardware specific features that you would like to include in your build. So for example, if your hardware has a Bluetooth integrated to it, so if your Linux image wants Bluetooth to be integrated, you can use this. And uh, ext 2 is a file system. So if your Linux image wants ext2 as a file system, you have to configure this. So likewise, there are a couple of 
or different things that it crypto project supports so you can uh, control this with the uh, machine features variable so now let's look at distro features distro feature is controlled by distro underscore features variable the features do not have one to one correspondence to packages and they can go beyond simply controlling the installation of a particular package or packages in most cases the presence of absence of a feature translates to the appropriate options supplied to the configure script during the do configure task for the recipe that optionally support the feature so distro feature basically uh, configures your distribution so what is that is supported or not supported so, so some of the examples that you would like to control are uh, here again you have a bluetooth ext2 but uh, ipsec includes ipsec support the ipv6 includes ipv6 support the nfs so include nfs client support so these are the uh, support that you want to have in your distribution so for example if you select nfs then the all the packages that are required for nfs would be added to your distribution so that is the understanding here and now let's see about image features so image features provide a certain functionality that you can add to your target images this can be additional packages to be installed modified of configuration files and more so image features basically uh, add functionality to your target images so it's it's more of what uh, packages to be installed and modified during the configuration and uh, even for when you're building these packages so it will take appropriate uh, settings based on the image features so for example uh, the dev packages dv minus pkgs so image feature adds development packages which typically include headers and other file required for development for all packages installed in root file system so using this image feature is a convenient way to enable a target image for development without having to explicitly specify the development packages in the image install variable for deployment you can then simply remove the packages image feature so when you're building if you add the packages as image feature then your setup would be built for the development and within deployment you can just remove the dev packages and then uh, generate the image and deploy your deploy to your target installation of image feature is controlled by two variables so one is image underscore features this is used in image recipes to find sorry to define the required set of image features the other method is extra underscore image underscore features this is typically used in conf or local dot conf file to the define addition to define additional image features that of course then affect all images built with the build environment so the content of extra underscore image feature is simply added to image features by meta count bit vector configuration file the following are some of uh, the image features that you can add as i said uh, dev dev packages is here so install development packages and you have the debug packages install debug symbol packages for all packages include in the given image debug tweaks it makes an image suitable for development and you have let's say you have empty pa root password sets the root password to an empty string which allows logins with a blank password so for example if you don't want to enter a password when you log in you just uh, configure in the extra image features or image features with the empty root password and then when 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 you log in 
to your system it doesn't ask for password of course this is not a secure way but that's how this is the flexibility that you have in the actual project it has something called allow empty password so allows drop or, or open ssh to accept root logins and logins from accounts having an empty password string so this is how you configure the features this will add or remove features in the actor project so actor project has documentation to well, this information well it has a detailed information on what are the different features like what are the different machine features that it has what are the other distribution features that it has or the actors project supports so we have this image features of course, there's a lot of information. I leave this link in the description to uh, have more information on how to add features to your Linux. So, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in learning, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded Linux and Internet of Things. Leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion.